Police are still investigating the death of a Morgan State University student who was gunned out outside of his car last month. 21-year-old Kayvon Dix was shot and killed on Mary Avenue in Northeast Baltimore, but it was his life, not his death, that was remembered earlier today. Debbie Jay-Z is live right now. Pat Warren tells us what happened at Morgan State University today when he posthumously received his degree. Pat. Well, Kayvon Dix was on his way home after a night of studying with a friend, but he never made it there. A mother's tears. He was just like, just sunshine to everybody. 21-year-old Kayvon Dix had been studying with a friend on the night of April 24th. He was gunned down on the way to his car in the 3400 block of Mary Avenue. Neighbor James Winfield heard the shots. I tried to talk to him and encourage him to hold on until, yes. until yes. help got here. Mm -hmm. And I watched the life leave his body while he was holding my hand. With great sadness, thank you. I must also ask that you confer a Bachelor of Arts in Music posthumously on Mr. Kevon Dix. A member of the Morgan Choir, Dix was considered a success story in the making. In addition to studying music, he was part of a mentoring program for young kids. Today, Kevon's brother, Kevin Dix, accepted his diploma. Kevin found out he had been accepted to Morgan State the same day Kevon died. He'll be attending next year. This is a bittersweet day for their mother, Annette. We never would have anticipated that we would be planning a funeral because we were planning a huge graduation. Kevon was always the life of the party. And that's exactly what we would be doing. We would be partying. Police continue to look for his killer. Kayvon is one of more than 100 people who have died of gun violence in Baltimore so far this year. I'm Pat Warren reporting live for WJZ.